In this video, we'll prove the first part of the fundamental theorem of calculus. So we've got a function defined this way, and we're making this claim about to the derivative. All right, well, here is A. And we've got a function. This is not capital F of X, it's lowercase f. So remember that this is an area function. If we have some number k there, then capital F of k is the area under the curve in this region. So here's x, and here's x plus h. I'm going right from the definition here, I'm going to take the limit as h approaches zero of capital F of x plus h minus capital F of x all divided by h. Capital F of X is this area. Capital F of X plus H is this entire area. Capital F of X plus H minus capital F of X is the area of this little sliver. Let's create a rectangle. We used this point to create the rectangle. Its height is f of x. If this is x and this is x plus h, its width is h. So h times f of x is the area of this rectangle, which is really, really close to this. It's not exactly equal. You see this sliver of white up here, um, f of x plus h minus f of x is the area of this entire region, including this white sliver. The sliver isn't in the rectangle. Still though, it's close really close. 
so close that I would go so far as to say that they're almost equal. A uh, little wavy equal sign for approximately equal to. And if we divide both sides by H, we get the difference quotient on the left. And on the right, we get F of X. And now we're going to take the limit as H approaches zero of both sides of this equality. But here's the thing. There aren't any H's over here. So taking the limit as H approaches zero doesn't do anything. Meanwhile, the closer H is to zero, the better, I should have put a squiggly equal sign there, Meanwhile, the closer H is to zero, the better this approximation becomes. So the reason that this approximation isn't exact is this white sliver you see up here. Now, as H gets closer and closer to zero, that white sliver gets smaller and smaller. So I um, replaced this with a squiggly equal sign, but actually I was just looking ahead this is approximately equal to, in the limiting case, as H approaches zero, this equality becomes exact. So the derivative of this function was a lower case f of x, just what we wanted. In this video, we've proven part one of the fundamental theorem of calculus. In the next video, we'll do some examples.